Hey everybody, Lance Quickie here. Let's talk about these jacked back muscles, the lats, and how they're involved in the row. So in a row, I'm, I'm taking my humerus, my upper arm bone, and I'm pulling it backward. Okay, so something has to do that. Generally, we're looking at the lats as our primary mover of that, though there are some more shoulder blade centric muscles that are doing it as well. Just a quick recap on where the lats are. The lats actually, they come all the way up into this shoulder here, and then they come all the way down into your like top of your butt area. So they cover your low back, they come all the way up to the shoulder, and they uh, attach to the back of the pelvis there. So that means they can do a lot. They can stick your butt out, like you're taking an Instagram photo or you're wearing high heels or something like that. Um, and they can also act on that shoulder. Uh, they do some other stuff, but I don't think we need to talk about it for here. So with the row, uh, I'm bringing the humerus back. I'm bringing the upper arm bone back, but I might feel the row more if I arch my low back and I stick my butt out a little bit more. So why do I feel that more? The lats get shorter when I do that because again, they're so broad that I can shorten them by bringing my arm back, but I can also shorten them by sticking my butt out, right? Now, just because you feel that muscle more doesn't necessarily mean that that's what I would recommend. Um, you can do it and you're welcome to. I've had this conversation with somebody I'm thinking of very specifically. Um, but I would tell you, I would caution you that you're increasing the compression in your low back. You're, you're bringing those uh, vertebrae closer and closer together, those individual spinal bones closer and closer together, especially in the back. So you pinch uh, together where the nerves come out and then go down to supply your legs. Uh, and I would generally <laughs> caution against that unless you're like you're okay with a little bit of numbness and maybe some other issues down the road. So my rule is I'm setting the pelvis, I'm keeping it stable as I move my arm. Now I can get more lat if I keep my elbow, let's do it this way, if I keep my elbow tucked into my side, because then my lat isn't losing leverage. I can shorten this side even a little bit more, and then I get even more shortening of the lat because it's all the way down the side. It gives me that little side bending motion. Um, if I pin my shoulder down too much though, I'm gonna start to interfere with how the, uh, sh the humerus actually wants to move in this shoulder blade. Um, and so it's suboptimal. It's not the optimal technique because my shoulder joint can't move freely. I need the shoulder blade to be kind of loosened up. I can't keep it pinned down. So you see a lot of cues to keep your shoulder blade down. And yeah, I don't want you to shrug up while you're rowing, but there is such a thing as keeping it too far down. So keep that in mind when you're doing this, when you're trying to feel the lat. Sometimes the goal isn't necessarily more lat, Maybe you're doing it okay and you just need a little bit more weight. Or maybe you're losing your uh, tension on that muscle in the transition points. Like as soon as you start to initiate your pull, maybe you're initiating it with your back and maybe at the top you're, um, you're sticking your chest out a little too much like we've talked about previously um, and you're losing that tension on the actual lat muscle, you stop moving the arm and you start moving the chest. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, and if you need less lat, then I'm bringing the elbow out, okay? And that puts a little bit more of the tension on the upper back muscles, the rhomboids, the trapezius, and I'm still using the lats, I'm still training the lats, but I minimize the, the torque that goes on the lats so they don't need to contract quite as hard. Hopefully that makes sense. That's probably way more than you ever wanted to know about the lats in the row.